Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our 2021-2022 Spring Concert. Tonight, our show is entitled, A Night at the Movies. We will be performing 11 pieces for you tonight from some of our, fa or some of our favorite songs from some of our favorite movies. The kids that you see on stage today um, are third, fourth, and fifth graders. And we have actually been practicing this music only since January. We only meet once a week after school, when time permits. And sometimes we get to meet during the day, but not very often. So this is all of their hard work for the past couple of months. We hope you enjoy. And before we begin, I do ask that you please turn off all your cell phones or put them on vibrate so that they will not disrupt our concert and you can hear these beautiful angelic voices you're about to hear. For our first piece this evening, we're going to do a little piece that has a little bit of a flair to it. You first, it was first performed in 1951 as an Afro-Cuban jazz piece, and it became famous again when it was performed in the movie Coco. For your listening pleasure, Un Poco Loco. How about another round of applause for these wonderful, amazing children? For our next piece, we ask that you join along 
clap along if you feel like it, if you know this song. From Despicable Me, we will be performing the song, Happy. Feel free to sing along and clap along. That made everybody happy. <laughs> For our next selection, uh, we picked a song from a very popular movie called Sing. Now, you may not know it's in the movie because it's actually in the closing credits of the movie. It was originally done by Stevie Wonder, and it was redone with Stevie Wonder and Ariana Grande. It has quickly become the kids' favorites, and um, you're going to see it when they perform it. From the movie Sing, Faith. Thank you. 
hope every got, everybody got faith now because of that song. The next song we're going to perform, we're going to slow things down a little bit. It is from the Twilight series. Some kids have seen it, some have not, but they have definitely heard this song. It was originally made popular by Christina Perry. From the Twilight Saga, what a thousand years.
Wasn't that beautiful? Yeah. I think they deserve another round of applause. What do you say? We're going to keep things all slow uh, for our next piece. It's from a little obscure cartoon called Anastasia, which is loosely based on uh, the Romanov dynasty, where Anastasia actually survived her relatives. Um, this song is a beautiful little piece. Um, it sounds almost like those jewelry boxes that when you open up, the little ballerina starts twirling. Um, it's just a very nice and beautiful, graceful piece. So for your listening pleasure, Once Upon a December from the movie Anastasia. kids knew this song because they were watching a television show called Stranger Things. For those of us that are of another age, we probably saw the original movie. For your listening pleasure, the theme from The Never Ending Story.
Hope it brought back some memories for you. This next song will surely bring back some memories. It is from the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie. It is probably a classic piece that people of all ages have heard time and time again and have fallen in love with the song just like we did when we were kids and we saw this movie. From Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Pure Imagination. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, but I need those uh, kids that are talking to please keep their voices down. Thank you. For our next piece, we're gonna get jamming again. If you know this song, you might, because it was originally performed by Elton John. It is from the movie Sing. Feel free to sing along to I'm Still Standing.
you guys like that one. <laughs> For our next selection, we're going to slow it down a bit before we pick up the pace again. Um, everybody knows who the Muppets are, right? Or am I the only one? We are going to perform a an original piece that was written for the original Muppet movie from 1978. It's a beautiful little song talking about love and friendship. For your listening pleasure, The Rainbow Connection. For this next number, we went a little bit different. I am going to be very honest with you. We did this number because I wanted to do it. Because I am obsessed with the musical Hamilton. And I found this piece and I thought, let's try something different. We've never done anything with a little bit of a rap or hip hop, so why not? And the kids at first were a little skeptical, but now it is one of their favorite songs. So for your listening pleasure, my shot from the musical Hamilton.
They really do get into that song. Um, by the way, good, good evening. My name is Angelo Solis. I am the director of this choir, and I am also the music teacher, uh, teacher here at Colonel Santos. Excuse my nerves. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming and for showing your support. Parents, I, I just want to apologize for the deluge of repetitiveness when it comes to the music and having to listen to it over and over and over again. But as you can see, it pays off in the end. And I do want to thank all of you for your constant support. Um, we had amazing parent volunteers today helping us out. And some of my amazing co-workers as well. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And you're probably wondering who this little girl is, right? Okay, this little girl, her name is Yarin. Say hi, Yarin. She is our first grade choir mascot because she has been to every single one of our rehearsals. And as you can see, she knows the music back, forward, sideways, and even the dance moves. So the kids, it was their idea. They decided to make her our choir mascot. That's how kind-hearted these kids are. They're pretty amazing. So she is part of the show, too. And I also want to recognize our sound technician, Sophie. Come on and say hi. She is the one in charge of all the music for us. And I also want to thank the gentleman from ITV who went out of their way to come over here and actually help us with our sound system because we were having issues as well. And they're recording this um, on the link that I sent home with you. If you ever want to show it to your relatives when you get home, you can click on it and it will be there for them to watch or for you to watch when you get home. So we are up to our final number. And um, this particular piece was not originally going to be performed. We had something else in mind. But the kids love it. I fell in love with it, so we changed it. And we made it our final number because we all love this song so much. Um, I'm just going to say it. We are going to do We Don't Talk About Bruno from Encanto.
I just want to mention something about this particular song. At the end, after time for dinner, it's five different parts that are being sung at the exact same time. And these kids nailed it. I am so proud of them. Words cannot express how proud I am. They did give me a couple of white hairs, but I'll forgive them this time. Thank you all so much for coming to our concert. We hope that you enjoyed it. At this time, I will be dismissing the students back to you so you can go home and celebrate or go have fun. I think the kids earned it. How about another round of applause for our kids?